Yeah, so hi there, Pat Bamber for PSB Sports. Yeah, the card just cut out. So, sorry, um, Peter, we're just talking about the potential fight between Parker and Ruiz and, uh, and the happening in the first few months of, of, of the year. Yeah, hopefully uh, the negotiating, so hopefully we'll hear something in the next coming days, as uh, Frank uh, mentioned earlier. Um, and yeah, that's uh, possibly uh, for the April 8th. April the 8th, so that, I assume that will be in the UK, Peter, in uh, Manchester? Hopefully we're trying to get it in the UK. I know uh, everybody's doing the best they can, so nothing's finalised yet. So, uh, But we heard what Frank had to say, so it's, it's looking uh, quite positive. So, um, obviously, that's great to hear from your end. So, I mean, any any maybe time frame on a, on a potential announcement, Peter, do you, do you think, as of yet? Well, as Frank said, he's, he's working on it in the next coming days, so we could have an announcement in the next, uh, in the next seven days. Next seven days, wow. And... Um, Obviously now we're um, January's nearly over. Um, was Huey mainly ticking over over Christmas, and how's his training going at the moment? If, if he's in training, he's been training. Yes, he's uh, he's fine. He's in good condition. Uh, he's uh, he's healthy um, and he's ready to go. He's uh, it's his time. Absolutely, that sounds great. And um, you know, in, in general, Peter, when you look at a fighter like Joseph Parker, who's also a young fighter, hungry as well, ambitious. Yeah. Um, what do you see in in Parker? Um, as you prepare to potentially fight him? I've always rated Parker. I think Parker's an excellent young heavyweight. I think he's, uh, for me, I think he's the best up-and-coming heavyweight out there amongst the crop today. I think he's a serious heavyweight. I've got uh, utmost respect for his ability. Also his trainer as well. They're a good team and uh, they rightly belong where they are. I thought the Ruiz uh, fight was a good fight. Ruiz um, is no muggy self. That was a tough fight to overcome for any heavyweight, so I thought it was a good fight. And uh, but look, I'm looking forward for Yui to uh, fight the best. To be the best, you have to fight the best. So uh, I'm really looking forward to this fight. I got no predictions in it. Only uh, I, I know Yui is a very special talent, and uh, people are yet to see just what he's really about. So it's his time now, and uh, we're very happy. It's going to be a very exciting fight, and it's uh, it's definitely a tough fight as well. Additionally, uh, Peter, um, one thing that's hindered Hubie uh, in his career at times has been his health. I mean, what's the situation on his health at the moment? Um, is it, it, well, is it okay? Allergies and stuff? Yeah, he only had skin yeah. problems, uh, which we we sent him to a dermatologist, and that's fixed. You can see his complexions now. Mm. He's a totally different guy. So he's uh, he's a hundred percent fit. He's um, you know the skin was causing him a problem with the open wounds and, and this and that, but he's uh, he's very good. He's, he's fit, he's healthy, and he's ready to go. Sounds great. Peter, obviously, I have to ask you about um, Tyson as well. Um, you know, uh, firstly, how, how, is, how, how is Tyson doing? Obviously, I haven't you know, spoken to him for a while. I mean, is, is he okay? And obviously, how's his um, Christmas as well? And it's obviously new with the family. Uh, he's good. He's enjoying his family. He's enjoying his private time. And, um, yeah, he's all right. Any, uh, any, I mean, obviously, every, everybody would love to see Tyson Fury return. And um, you know, reclaim obviously the belts which he never lost, um, especially after that fantastic night in Germany. So I mean, we're all hoping for that comeback. Is any update on that? Will he potentially come back for the boxing fans? It's not been discussed. Um, I've not discussed anything with him at all. Um, you know, but I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be back. It's just a matter of when. That is absolutely great to hear. Great turn. Obviously, I think all the boxing fans will love to have Tyson back. Of course. Yeah. Um, sorry, Peter. Uh, finally, um, just two things. Firstly, uh, Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko. Um, obviously, I'm sure you're going to have um, an eye on that fight, being the trainer of you and obviously a, a fan of boxing as well. Um, first of all, what did you actually make of that fight when it was announced? A lot of people straight away were tipping Joshua immediately to, for it to be a walkover. I was looking on Twitter, people were saying, oh, Joshua, easy win, easy win. But obviously, you know, someone in the game yourself, you know, how do you see the, uh, that fight going with, with Klitschko and Joshua? Well, it's experience against youth. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult fight because uh, if Joshua can land on anybody, he'll put them away. He's a very good puncher. Um, he's got fast hands, um, but he's relatively very inexperienced because he hasn't got the rounds due to his power. But um, very hard to say. Uh, Klitschko, providing he's not just coming back for the money, providing he's not really gone old overnight. Um, I see it as uh, I'd have to favour Klitschko in it, to, to be honest. On the experience side, I don't see it. Uh, but look, 
it's a, it's a fight where you just can't say. It just depends which Klitschko turns up now. He's 40, 41, stroke 41. How much has he got left in the tank? Joshua's young, he's hungry. He's, um, he's got a point to prove. So he, he's coming guns blazing. So it uh, wouldn't surprise me if uh, Joshua scored a knockout. But it also, it would be expected for uh, Klitschko to win it as well, in my, in my view. Sure, and obviously as well, Peter John T. Wilder, the WBC heavyweight champion, he's not coming back, I think he had a really bad uh, hand injury actually, after he knocked out Ariola. Um, so obviously, you know, Wilder and Tyson, that was spoken about a lot. And obviously with Wilder being the, the WBC champion, how do you anticipate his uh, 2017 going? It's hard to say, he's another big puncher. Mm. Um, he's got a good, a decent boxing ability as well, Wilder. He's very agile, he moves. He's got fast hands and everything else. They're, you know, they're rightly where they are, the world champions. So there's going to be good fights. So he's uh, he, Wilder is a serious threat for anybody because of his power. So he's uh, it's all what it is. But they're all fights, you know. That um, hopefully, you know, 17 people are going to see Wilder in good fights because he hasn't been in that many exciting like 50-50 fights, has he? You know, a lot of them have been one-way traffic, you know. Since he beat uh, Stavern, you know, we'd like to... I'm not criticising. Sure. Uh, I just think uh, it's his time now to step up and uh, take on the uh, the top of the current crop. Just like um, just like you is doing here, you know. If, if you want to fight the best. But I'm sure he does. I, I know I've seen an interview with him. And he was on about... Um, I want to unify the belts and everything else. So maybe it's uh, it's time for them as well. So it's, I see a big year in the heavyweights. I think a lot's going to uh, happen uh, in the next this year. Peter Fury, firstly, I want to say thank you so much for your time for for myself and for PSB Sports once again. You know your first interview I ever did, um, <laughs> back there on yeah. Skype. Uh, if you remember, 49 minutes for that for. When was that? Uh, January of last year. January and then year. my father came on after and spoke to you. That's right. As well. He did, so, yeah. yeah. And uh, right. so, first ever one I've done back then. And, um, you know, it's, it's always a pleasure to uh, catch up with you, Yeah, from you, now. It's a pleasure. And Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, Peter. All the best. Pav Van Brahe with Peter Fury for PSP Sports.